My name is Kathy. I work at the Columbus Public Library and today I'm going to be showing you a very simple and easy craft but can turn anything you want into a very colorful and very colorful item. It's called Wasi Tape and we're going to be crafting with it. Basically Wasi Tape is not like masking tape or scotch tape. It's very different. It's Japanese paper made into tape. It's rice paper. And wa means Japanese and she means paper. And it's great for crafting. You can use it to brighten up anything. It comes in various sizes. So you can have what I would call a small roll of thin tape or a bigger roll of thicker tape. It comes with various decorations. This has flowers on it, probably what looks like either irises or cornflowers. It's purple and white and pink, very colorful. It comes in colors. So we've got a pink one and a green one. And it comes in fun shapes too. Here we have bunnies and stars and kitties and bears. So this would be great to use if you've got young kids that like to decorate. And then we also have more bears here in fun shapes. And then here we have ooh, clouds against a pink background. So you can get any type. You can even get solid colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this plain notebook. Actually, there's one piece of tape on here. And what you do, it's very simple. You just pick out what you want to use. I'm going to use the pink tape with the clouds. And you just roll it out. It's very thin and very lightweight and you just measure the item you want to put the tape on you can go vertical or horizontal and then when you have it measured it tears very easily you tear it and you put it on the item that you want to decorate very simple and you just fold over the excess. And when you're done, you take a plain brown notebook and you turn it into a very colorful notebook. And I just used different tapes on here. I used animals and flowers and balloons, and it just brightened it up immensely. You also would have a very nice notebook that you would gift, can gift. You can put recipes in it. <laughs> You can put recipes in it. You can give it to somebody as a journal that they can use to journal in. You could even put on here and take Kathy's journal rather than just decorating it. That way it would be very, very personal to the person. And as far as recipes, you can pick out old family recipes, put it in here and save it for your kids or your grandkids to give to them when they get older if they're not old enough to cook. Now, the other thing you can do, say you're in Michael's and you just see a plain brown wooden frame like this. Not very exciting. You can put it this way or you can do it this way. So what you can do is, again, pick out some tape. Here I have what looks like cherry blossom leaves and cherry blossom petals. White with pinks and purples. And again, you find the end. Get it started, which sometimes is hard to do because it's so thin. And then if it's kind of raggedy like this, just tear off the starter there and throw that out. 
And again, just measure whatever size you want. Put the tape on. Uh, tear it. Once you measure it, put the tape on. If you're a little off, you can always go over the edge and just tuck it under the edge. You don't have to be perfect. That's the nice thing about doing this type of craft. Just make sure you don't put the tape all the way over here so that you block the area where you can put your picture in. Make sure it's smooth. And then you get your next piece of tape that you want to use. So I'm going to use this pink one with the flowers and the branches. Kind of looks like an ivy. And again, just tear it. Measure what you need. And put it on your frame. And you'll just keep going and doing this, changing tape if you want, or you can use all the same tape. And again, it can be perfect, but if you're going to use it for personal use or use it for something simple, it doesn't have to be that perfect. So this is what it'll look like. Now you keep going, and of course, you can put your tape vertical this way, or you can put smaller pieces horizontal. I would recommend going vertical because it just looks better. And then when you're all done putting your tape on, this is what your finished product, product will look like. Ta-da! And here you have a brightly colored frame. You went from a wooden, plain wooden frame to a very brightly colored frame. And then you can put a picture in if you want and use it as a birthday gift, a Mother's Day gift, any type of holiday that you think somebody would enjoy, a family picture, a very special picture, maybe a reminder of a special vacation, whatever you want to do. Or you could put a special certificate in here if it's a small certificate and give it to the person. Whatever you want to do. But you take what is a plain wooden frame, kind of boring, and you turn it into a brightly colored frame that's ready for gifting or ready for personal use. And you can do this with anything. If you have a student going to college, you can take a plain cardboard box and cut it up, put the tape on it, and they have a brightly colored hanging they can put in their dorm room to cheer up their dorm room and remind them of their mom and how wonderful their mom is. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed doing this, this craft. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us at 706-243-2691, and I, myself, or one of my coworkers would be more than happy to talk to you and answer your questions.